next guest is a beautiful young lady who has truly come into her own. Her recent weight loss glow up went viral all over social media. Her transformation has inspired so many others to keep pushing towards the goal of a healthy lifestyle. Please welcome Sarah Smith to the show. Yay. Yes, Sarah, we are so excited to chat with you. How you feeling? I'm a little nervous. I, like... know. <laughs> I know, we're like chill, it's gonna be mad cool. Yeah. Um, we are so inspired by you and we obviously know and love your mom, Brandy. And we also know that she's very dedicated to living a, life, a healthy lifestyle. So I know she's just so proud of you. We just saw her on FaceTime with you a second yeah. ago. Um, but I want to know, what made you want to focus on your health and your fitness? Um, I had a lot of health issues when I was at the size that I was. Mm -hmm. um, my mom was with me during everything. She saw me go through a lot, and I just decided to really take my health seriously. Um, so I changed my mindset, changed my mentality, um, and I knew that being in the size or being in the body that I was in, um, I knew my life wasn't going to be as long. I had so many issues and um, with my health, and I just knew that like living my purpose, yeah. uh, I wouldn't be able to live in that body if I wanted to fulfill anything going forward in my life. So I just, I really, really took time, and I really thought to myself, I want to be there for my big sister, I mean my little sisters, my little brothers. I want to be there for my mom, my dad, and I was like, I need to change, like now. Wow. And wow. That's the hardest part. Right. Like you just said right yeah. now, mentally preparing yourself mm -hmm. for that. I wow. think that's the part that's most impressive to me right yeah. now because most young people think about the physical, which is also fair, right. you know? But nobody thinks about their vision of later on, how will I be able to save with my family, keep up, and also yeah. feel good about myself later on? And that's a mature thing to mm -hmm. think about. So when it does come to pressure, right, you are in that era of social media. Right. You gotta read of the comment. That's your life now. Mm -hmm. So how has that been for you, getting pressured from people or people judging you? Um, it was it was a little bit difficult in the beginning. Yeah. Uh, obviously, I really wanted to change because of my health at first, but then obviously with health, you know, changing your lifestyle, weight loss kind of comes. Yeah. Or yeah, it did come. And uh, I started becoming a little bit more obsessed with the scale, with how I looked, how my mm. body was transforming. That's honest. And it was never, yeah, it wasn't, it wasn't easy uh, to look at myself. And then I grow up in an era where a lot of young women compare themselves to other girls on social media. And I'm a little victim of that. I, I get very jealous, I guess is the word. I get very insecure when I look at other women. And, uh, and I know my body has been through a lot and I always have to remind myself of that, that you know, the scars that I have, the stretch marks that I have, the everything that my body has been through, um, it's for a purpose, it's for a reason, yes. it's what it's been through. Um, but I do feel a little pressure, you know, people have eyes on me at all times, people have eyes on mom all the time. Um, so I did feel pressure to kind of quickly do it or you know, try and, maneuver, how I would, you know, let me not eat this for a week or let me like kind of change up everything just to kind of form a little, a little Instagram body, but that's not Ugh. normal. That you Instagram body. Let me tell body. you, I'm Girl. 38 years old and I really appreciate your transparency. Yes. Like just being honest, because <laughs> it takes a lot to say what women really go through. Yes. Like people watching this are gonna be like, damn, I'm not the only one. I'm 38 years old, much younger than yeah. me. And for you to have, yeah the ability to recognize that at such a young age versus there's moments where I'm looking at it, I'm like, oh, why can't I be disciplined enough to mm -hmm. have a six pack? And in your case, you've kind of been in the spotlight your whole life being Brandy's daughter. Mm -hmm. Does that make it even harder? Honestly, sometimes it was a little bit difficult because you know, seeing my mom dress a certain way or wear certain things um, and you know, when she was on carpet or when I see her yeah. on set or anything like that, it was kind of, difficult because it was like, you know, why am I not that way? Right. Why am I not that size? Why was I made the way I was made? And sometimes I would feel a little sad or I would feel like she was embarrassed of me or, you know, these are all just insecurities yeah. in my yeah. head. And you know, she was never like that. She yeah. always was supportive. She always knew that I was beautiful and, and she supported me whether I wanted to lose a lot of weight or not. She always knew that I was beautiful, beautiful. She always told me that I was beautiful, always. Um, she never felt any of those things mm. that I felt that she felt. Uh, mm -hmm. um, but I always kind of felt a little bit like the odd one out. My whole family is kind of in the spotlight and I just 
I, I don't know. I was kind of the odd one out. And you know, now uh, coming from that to this and realizing that it was never that, I was still, you know, they still loved me, whether yeah. I was at one weight or another. They yeah. supported me. They loved me. I'm, I was rah-rah to them either way. So yeah. I love, I love oh, my whole family. Rah, rah. They're so supportive. Yeah. <laughs> it's yeah. very wise, though, for you to realize that that's your projection on mm -hmm. yourself. It's not what is coming from other right. people. Like That realization can drive people crazy sometimes. Yeah. They don't get that. So for you to make sure you know, this is me. I'm projecting this right. on myself. That's not what I'm getting from my mom and from other people. Mm -hmm. So proud of you with that. Thank you. But I'm also really proud of the fact that you're actually considering stepping into the music industry. Yeah. So, yo, <laughs> let's talk about this. What's going to happen? Give us some, some deets. Well, I've been uh, taking music kind of seriously since I was 16. I'm mm -hmm. 19 now. Um, oh my but God, 19. I can't even. She's still a teen. <laughs> I was horrible at 19. <laughs> this is crazy. No, uh, um, but after uh, I realized where I was with health, I was like, you know, I really need to get it together if I want a, a great career. You know, I, I want to be happy, healthy, have a lot of energy. So, um, yeah, I've been recording, I've been writing music since I was 16, but I started taking it real serious like a couple months ago. And I told mom, I was like, mom, I want a project. I want something. Yes. I want to put it yes. out. Yes. And she's like, okay, let's get this music done. Let's work on it. Let's perfect it. And Who else? I mean, come on. Would you, what would you say your style is like? I think it's kind of a mixture of R&B type of pop-ish okay. type of stuff. I don't know, it's, it's kind of a mixture of everything. I kind of take from everywhere, but you'll hear a lot of my mom's in Yes, okay, because <laughs> Brandy is hands down one of the greatest vocalists Come on, of all they, time. Yeah. Uh, Brandy backgrounds? They, yeah, tap, I'm just very tap, excited tap for it, girl. Like, don't, so I mean, you got the for card. You. Go for it. Yes. <laughs> she, yeah, cause she vocal produced the whole <gasps> little project that I have. I can't. She, even she did the whole, like, she did the whole thing, um, and she trained me in that studio. And now every song that I do in the studio, she's like, okay, it's a good song. I, like before though, yeah. like when I was a little, you know, I want to do it by myself and all this yeah. other stuff, and kind of antsy or stubborn with her. Um, it wasn't as great. Yeah. But now that she was in the studio with me, like every day we were in the studio just cutting. She's a little difficult. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, she's a little hard on me, but it, it's good. You yeah, know? Well, you got two fans right here. We cannot, oh, yeah. cannot wait. wait. So, so excited. I have my first performances here, for real. Yes! Yeah, <laughs> done! We were no loaded. Thank you so much for stopping Thank by. You. Thank you for Thank being you so for honest with me. us and taking us into your life like this. We wish you the best.